Hello Marine Bio! Welcome back to the aquarium. Today we are going to be learning about one of the all-time coolest things in the world, mostly because it's a very close relative of the limpet, the chitin. There are several species of chitin that you will see in Puget Sound. One of the ones that is more common in areas that are a little bit more remote, so things like in Admiralty Inlet or along the Strait of Juan de Fuca uh, or out on the coast, you'll see a lot more of these chitons. And the chitin that we are looking at today is this guy here. This is the gumboot chitin. The gumboot chitin, scientific name, Cryptochitin storelli. Cryptochitin storelli. So some fun, cool, interesting things about a chitin. So a chitin is part of a group of organisms called polyplacophora. Poly meaning many, plaques being of the like backs on their back, or like the plaques on their back. And so their bone structure, shell structure, I should say, their shell structure actually looks very much like a roly-poly. And they have eight of these plaques that travel along their back. What we're looking at currently is we're looking at the underside. And so what you see here is you see the mantle, which is this part around the edge. The mantle on a gumbu chitin goes all the way across and it covers all of the plaques. That's why it's called cryptochitin, because it's hiding the chitin part, the plaques. So cryptochitin being of the hidden plaques. So this mantle here, this is the outer part. It's a softer tissue, so like it's movable and can move. So it's a little bit of a softer tissue. Right here, this is the foot. So these are very similar to snails. And so if you think about the structure of a snail, the snail has a large foot. This is the large foot of the gumboot chitin. Up here, right at the top, you'll see that there's this protrusion here. This is actually the head. And right there in the middle, there is the mouth part. The mouth has this amazing thing called a radula. A radula is essentially a chainsaw for a tongue. And so what these organisms do is that when they get to their food, they scrape at their food and just kind of like scrape off parts of it. So it would be like eating with a, like a serrated knife where you just kind of scrape away at it and then lick the knife and scrape away and lick the knife. That's essentially what they do. They're vegetarians, so you know, you don't have to worry about your hand. So this up here is the mouth part here. Their gills are actually between the mantle and the foot. So you can kind of see right here, there's an opening and an opening right there. Their gills are actually all inside there, and so they have the gills that run up along the foot and they're between the foot and the mantle. And you can really see this is a great specimen here, great structure of it too. It's very rare that you get to see the underside. Most of the time when you see them, you're going to see the top side here. So you're going to be seeing something that looks like this. And so when you see something that is this blob uh, kind of hanging onto a rock, it's going to be this Cryptochitin sterelli. And you can really see right here, there's a bump and another bump and another bump and another bump. Those are the, un the shells underneath, the plaques, that are actually part of the back of this organism. They're found all along the coast of Washington, uh, Oregon, California, Alaska, um, you know, basically Alaska to Baja, California. So they're found all along in these areas. And this is actually about the largest that they're going to get. So they get to be anywhere between six and eight inches, maybe about 10 inches at their maximum size. This is also the largest of the specimens of chitons that are found in Puget Sound. Most chitons, other species of chitons, are anywhere between two and four inches. So these ones, the Cryptochitin storelli, they're the ones that get the largest, the gumbo chitons are the largest of the chitons in between eight and 10 inches when they're fully grown. So there you go. Gumbo chitin, Cryptochitin storelli.